Jake, we start our three-game running by hosting Fulham at the Hawthorns on Tuesday. They don't get much bigger than this, do they? Uh, no, of course not. It's um, it's a massive game for us, but they've all been massive games. Um, but it's perfect for me. This is this is where you find out about your team, your teammates. Um, you know, you don't need each other when things are going great. You need each other at times when times are getting uh, the pressures on and. And, and it's an opportunity for you know for big things. So you know I'm looking forward to it. So are the boys, and, and we're more than ready. Um, you know it's it's been a very strange season to say the least. Um, so we knew there'd be a, at least another twist in it, but you know we're we're, we're as equipped as can be and, and as most as motivated as we can be. That's for sure. I saw you having a chat with Slav straight after training. What sort of role do you play as a captain in this situation? We're all captains in there. We all want the same thing. Um, that's everyone, each and every player throughout the squad, throughout the staff. Uh, you know, you guys, and we all want the same thing. And it's it's just about maintaining that goal um, and and doing all we can to reach, you know to reach that goal. Really, that's it was just re-emphasising that you know the the position we're in. We still wouldn't change it for anyone else's. Um, you know, it's in our hands and. Our form's actually been very good. Uh, you know, you look at the, the results we've had of, you know, three wins on the bounce. We have a draw, but you know, we played very well for the majority of the, of the game. Created a lot of chances. We know we need to put those away, but they're fine margins, um, and those far fine margins are not enough to put doubt in, you know, throughout the squad. What's morale like in the dressing room? Because understandably, there was a little bit of disappointment after the game. On Saturday, but has that now turned into determination? Yeah, that that, that disappointment's because we're second in the league. Um, you know, we was joint top <clears throat> after that, uh, so it shows where we want to be, where we know we should be, and want to be. Um, that's where the disappointment comes from, uh, not from anything else. We've set ourselves a high, high standard, high bar. Um, you know, it's, it's one of the best leagues in the world, in my opinion, and this is the reason why because it's. The rewards are so great um, and the margins are so far. Of course, everything is still in our hands, like you just said. Does it help having a target, you know, that target of seven points, or are you just focusing on the next game? I think we can take game by game. Um, you know, they're coming so thick and fast anyway. It's, you know, they are like, you know, in a way they're like three cup finals, but in a way we need to just produce what we've done throughout the whole season. And that's what's got us where, we've, where we are. Um, I think the moment we try and differ from that and come away from that, uh, you know, I think that's then we're no longer the team we we want to be. Following a shaky start since the resumption of the season, um, Fulham have put a consecutive, you know, four-match winning streak together. It's, it is going to be a big test, isn't it? Of course, Fulham are a good side, very good side. Um, you know, they've invested well this season. They've got a great manager in. Scott Parker, I used to play with his philosophy of football's, you know, second to none, and he's got them playing some really good football. And not only good football, he's got them playing effective football as well. Um, in this league, is what you need. But you know, so are we. We're we're a good side. We're a very good side. Um, and and we, we we need to go out there. We need to go out there tomorrow evening and show them. Weeks like this are what you come into football to experience, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, this is. I know a few people have said it with. 20 to other teams or whatever would change with us of course but this is what football's all about we want to be at the top of the table um, we want to be you know fighting for something and uh, you know believe you me we've, we'll all be out there tomorrow and I'm sure I'm sure the baggers at home will be doing exactly the same just going to mention those baggers at home there's thousands of them that are going to be sat on their sofas kicking every ball heading every ball it's going to be a right roller coaster ride for them, isn't it? Yeah, it's a roller coaster ride for all of us. But I think, um, you know, like I say, the moment we come away from what we've done this season, there's <clears throat> even our return after this after this break. Um, you know, the, the the level we've shown has been good. You know, the level we've shown has been really good. You know, we drew to to Birmingham at home after a three month break or whatever their period was. We created 21 chances. It, it just wasn't. You know, it just hasn't fallen for us in in that respect. Um, you know, Blackburn, for like I said, vast majority, 
in the game. We, we, we cut them open. We had some really good chances. Um, another day, another stroke of luck, a bit of misfortune. We, we win the game and, and this is a different conversation. But nevertheless, throughout the squad and throughout our team, throughout our staff, um, and hopefully throughout you guys at home, it's we know exactly what we need to do, what we want to do, and, and we all, you know, we will firmly in control of our destiny.